Hi, I'm Peixu, a PhD student from Clemson University. I'm glad I'm here to give a presentation about our work of human-inspired multi-agent navigation using the method of knowledge distillation. Multi-agent systems have been applied in many fields. For example, the automated warehouse from Amazon, as reported, is almost entirely run by photo. For example, the automated warehouse from Amazon, as reported, is almost entirely run by robots to reduce the labor costs and increase the efficiency. For future applications, the smart city with self-driving cars also works as a multi-agent system and has become a hot topic in both the academic and the industry fields. In those applications, agents often behave in a decentralized manner and it processes a pressing need of an efficient and collision-free navigation approach and a decentralized multi-agent setting. Currently we, already, currently, we already have some very robust local planning approaches that can provide guarantees about collision-free motions. However, in decentralized multi-agent settings, Agents often still cannot behave with the intelligence that humans exhibit. One reason is that each agent is optimized locally. It could lead navigation behaviors that are not efficient globally. One reason is that each agent is optimized locally in the decentralized settings. It could lead to navigation behaviors that are not efficient globally. Another issue is that agents may take too conservative behaviors from. Another issue is that agents may take too conservative behaviors for the sake of generating collision-free trajectories. Here you can see, for example. The farthest agent behaves too prudently to move until the other two agents move past behind it. In contrast, human typically can exhibit efficient navigation behaviors during interactions, often without communication. In this work, we propose an approach to do human-inspired navigation to generate action policy in multi-agent settings by exploiting human demonstrations. In our work, we limit our discussion of multi-agent navigation in homogeneous and decentralized settings. Each agent under this setting In our work, we limit our discussion of multi-agent navigation in homogeneous and decentralized setting. Each agent relies on its own observation to make independent decisions without explicit communication. The goal of our work is to achieve an effect. The goal of our work is to achieve an efficient navigation policy under these settings by exploiting human demonstrations. Agents are expected to safely navigate to their goals in a human-like manner and even in scenarios that are not prevented by the demonstrations. In fact, the idea of imitating human navigation behaviors is not something new. It usually is not a quite hard problem if we just train a policy to clone the behaviors in some given human trajectory data size. However, behavior cloning by methods like supervised learning often would face the problem of insufficient generality. Typically, humans would exhibit different navigation strategies under different scenarios. Therefore, the learned navigation strategy perhaps cannot work efficiently enough on scenarios not provided in the training data. Second, besides, the uncertainty of human behaviors would lead people taking different trajectories even facing the same scenario settings. 
This makes the learned navigation screen thinking not always reliable to reflect the real human behaviors. These limitations make the learning-based method often unable to generalize well when facing scenarios that are not provided by the demonstration. In the paper, we combine supervised learning and reinforcement learning together and propose a way to learn a general navigation policy from human trajectory demonstrations using the method of knowledge distillation. We summarize our main contributions as below. First, we introduce a reinforcement learning approach. First, we introduce a reinforcement learning approach using knowledge distillation to exploit a human demonstration. Our approach can treat an action policy in homogeneous decentralized multi-agent settings for college-free navigation with human-like trajectories and can be generalized in unseen scenarios that pro no Our approach can train an action policy in homogeneous decentralized multi-agent settings for collision-free navigation with human-like trajectories, and can be generalized well in unseen scenarios not provided by the demonstration. We provide a related code and pre-trained policies at our project webpage, and hope it could help advance the field of human-inspired multi-agent navigation. In more details, our approach has a two-stage training process. The first stage is to achieve the expert policy by supervised learning from human trajectory demonstrations. The second stage is the reinforcement learning stage in which we will train a general action policy for collision-free navigation in multi-agent settings. To take advantage of the expert policy, we use knowledge distillation to shape the reward function used for reinforcement learning, rather than directly asking the policy to completely emit the expert behavior, which may be not reliable in scenarios not provided by the human demonstrations. The training of expert policy is not complex. We consider the expert policy as a neural network predicting agent velocity deterministically. Then, we can simply perform optimization to minimize the mean square error between the expert policy network output. Then, we can simply perform opt optimization. Then, we can simply then we can simply perform optimization to minimize the mean square error between the expert network output and the ground truth value that we get from the human trajectory dataset. To improve the generality of the trained expert policy, we introduce two data augmentation. To improve the generality of the trained expert policy. We introduce two data augmentation techniques during expert policy learning. One is the data interpolation. Instead of using only the discrete one is the data interpolation. Instead of using only the discrete data provided by the data set with a certain and typically fixed sampling time. We do a random resampling and use linear interpolation to get the agent's state at arbitrary time for training. Another data augmentation method is to randomly flip and rotate the scenarios. Those methods help us augment the data without destroying the relational information among agents. The second phase of our approach to achieve a general navigation policy is done by reinforcement learning. First, we formulate the decentralized control scheme for each agent as a general reinforcement learning problem. The objective is to get a shared policy pie such that each agent only relies on its own observation to make decisions and maximize the cumulative reward in an equal manner. 
Our reward function has three components. The first two components are very common. One is a hair reward term that is given when an agent reaches its goal. The second is a negative reward as the penalty given to the agent colliding with any other. These two components simply encourage the agent to reach its goal without a collision. The third component evaluates the agent's navigation decision at each time step more specifically. It has two terms. One is a velocity reward term. It mirrors the error of the agent's velocity to the goal velocity. One is the velocity reward term. It mirrors the error of the agent's velocity to the goal velocity and encourages the agent to move towards its goal at the speed preferred by the expert. The other term is noisy distillation term, through which the policy is encouraged to imitate the behavior. The other term is the noisy distillation term, through which the policy is encouraged to imitate the expert behavior. The other term is the noisy distillation term, through which the, the other term is the noisy distillation term through which the policy is encouraged to imitate the expert behavior. This term mirrors the error between the agents and the expert's action decisions. By using these two terms, we balance agent actions between goal-directed steering and expert imitation such that even if the expert policy is not reliable in some interaction cases, our policy still could be trained well to achieve goal-directed navigation behaviors. Overall, we can summarize our reinforcement learning strategy as follows. We give high reward to agents who reach their goals, and high penalty Overall, we can summarize our reinforcement learning strategy as the following. We give high reward to agents who reach their goals, and high pe pe penalty, penalty. Overall, we can summarize our reinforcement learning strategy as the following. We give high reward to agents who reach their goals, and high penalty, penalty, penalty. Overall, we can summarize our reinforcement learning strategy as the following. We give high reward to agents who reach their goals, and high penalty We give high reward We give high reward to agents who reach their goals, and high penalty We give a high reward to agents who reach their goals, and a high penalty to those who collect. To evaluate the agent's action decision specifically, we use a velocity reward term and a knowledge distillation term together to balance the agent's goal-directed navigation behavior and its imitation performance to generate expert-like trajectories. Noisy distillation is used in our approach to shift the reward function. This prevents agents from completely focusing on imitating the expert behavior, which may be unreliable in some scenarios not provided by the human demonstrations. In our implementation, we train the expert policy using the student's data set. This data set records the trajectories of four 134 pedestrians in an open campus environment. For reinforcement learning, we use the algorithm of distributed BPO. The simulation environment for the reinforcement learning strategy has three the simulation 
The simulation environment for the reinforcement learning stage has three randomly generated scenarios, as shown in the slide. We refer to our paper for the details of our implementation of the simulation environment. Here, we visually compare our approach to three baselines. One is OCA, a widely used general one is OCA, a widely used geometric local planning approach for collision-free navigation. SL is a navigation policy gotten by supervised learning. It is actually the expert policy that we use for knowledge distillation. RL without KD is the reinforcement learning approach without knowledge distillation. As we can see, our approach, though learning from the expert, can surpass the expert policy and achieve collision-free navigation behaviors. Policies trained by our approach can generalize well in the scenarios that are not provided by human demonstrations for expert policy training. RL without a KD achieves collision-free navigation shown in these examples. However, it doesn't always behave efficiently. We refer to our paper for more results of quantitative evaluation. To better understand the advantage of our approach, here we show the performance of our approach in special designed scenarios. When the local planning approach of OCA may lead unnatural navigation behaviors, To better understand the advantage of our approach, here we show the performance of our approach in special designed scenarios, where the local planning approach of OCA may lead unnatural navigation behaviors. Local planning approaches in those scenarios may need a parameter fine tuning to achieve acceptable performance. To show our approach's ability to generate a human like trajectories, we compare the human trajectories that are, are gotten by motion capture to the trajectory generated by our approach. The first comparison is asymmetric. The first comparison is asymmetric head-to-head -head interaction scenarios. OCA agents in these cases fail to reach their goals. The first comparison is asymmetric. The first comparison is asymmetric head-to-head -head interaction scenarios. OCA agents in this case fail to reach their goals. In this six agent circle scenario, OCA agents exhibit unnatural behavior that a human technically won't take. RL without KD also doesn't show human-like trajectories. Our approach, however, can capture to some degree the diversity that X. Our approach, however, can capture to some degree the diversity that humans exhibit in the reference motion. We also reproduce the scenario of the students' data site to test the performance of our approach generating human-like trajectories. For comparison, we introduce another baseline of power law to show the state-of-the-art performance of human-inspired crude simulation. This plot exhibits the distribution of velocities that agents take in different approaches during the simulation. Given the ground truth distribution in the color of yellow, we can spot that our approach can match the ground truth value more close than OCA or the reinforcement learning method without knowledge distillation. Our approach can provide human-like navigation behaviors with comparable performance to power law. In summary, our approach of reinforcement learning using knowledge distillation to shape the remote function 
can perform well to generate a collision-free and human-like navigation trajectories. The action policy can surpass the expert from which the knowledge distillation is performed, and can generalize well to unseen scenarios not provided by the human demonstrations used for expert training. Here, we discuss the limitations that our work currently has and are worth solving in future work. Our settings now are assuming that all agents are of the same kind. They share the same action policy and are assumed able to behave like humans. Those assumptions may not hold true when applying on real robots. For future work, we may focus on many robot-friendly action patterns from human demonstrations with also the consideration of human-agent interactions. Finally, I would like to thank NSF and Amazon Research Awards for their support. Thanks for your attention. We refer to our project webpage for more materials and related code of our work. Finally, I would like to thank NSF and Amazon. Finally, I would like to thank NSF and Amazon Research Awards for their support. We refer to our project webpage for more materials and related code of our work. Thanks for your attention.